Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. Today we are going to do a test. We are going to check out new um, new idea for YouTube videos. So we have two battles uh, in the Mountain Pass map and I'm not going to talk as much about the game itself happening, although both of the games are good, uh, but I'm going to talk about the map strategies itself and I will try to explain what kind of uh, things you can do in order to um, get good result and in order to defend one or another area. So you will see everything yourself uh, and obviously we are going to use T28 prototype for or, um, featuring those battles and fellas we recently had absolutely amazing t28 prototype game check it out in the description down below we made a video one game with t28 prototype full video and it was absolutely amazing and um, quickly talking about the tank itself tank is very very good tank is amazing there is nothing bad to say about this vehicle and uh, even though it's not the fastest tank in the world of tanks but it is hybrid between the heavy tank uh, and medium yeah, and probably tank destroyer tedium TD Heavium, however you would call this. So, without further ado, let's teleport into the game and let's see how the things will go for us, shall we? And we are back fellas, so let's start everything from the north spawn. In both of the videos we are going to have prototype gameplay in the background, but we are going to focus on the map itself. Um, and let's start everything from the start. You are a light tank spawned in this side. What are you doing as being a light tank? In my humble opinion, there is uh, two places how you can start our journey, maybe three places. Option number one is there is three good bushes here where you can set. Option number one, aggressive bush um, or a bit in the background here. Option number two is bush over there and option number three there is um, a side angle from where you can stop and from where you can spot enemy forces crossing. And in my humble opinion the north spawn in this map is so much more powerful because if you have a smart light tank you are going to get quite some free shots even though our light tank decided to go in front like this you see he can spot the crossing scorpion and if you have someone once again who is just sitting in the bush in the background you can see every single gentleman crossing through the middle and you can punish them being tank destroyer in this map there is couple of ways how you can play this map either to climb on top of the hill although in the first moment of the game i would hire it recommend to come somewhere over there um, around this area you can get very very nice angles to spot to shoot um, the victims which our light tank is spotting right after that for example or for a tank destroyer or heavy tank or even medium tank you can take this beautiful bush over there and you can wait until um, someone will, will get spotted as well in this kind of situation we are going to have as you can see we have high explosives loaded but it's not even about that you can have a piece loaded or something and whenever light tank is ch chilling somewhere here in the background right he is going to spot gentlemen who are sitting here and if he is going to do that obviously you are going to be able to punish uh, tanks for free right speaking about the upper side of this map i would highly recommend not to go there i don't see the point why would you go here because you are kind of open for arta and you can easily defend base from this position here and to push through the open field like this it is very very complicated for enemy team so uh, going here is kind of useless at least that's what i want to believe so being heavy tank yourself what you need to think about there is couple of options if you are very quick heavy tank you can try to cross through the middle like this and you see we have a type 59 who is sitting here he is having extremely good crossfire angle to people who are playing here and if you are playing with is7 or whatever else fast heavy tank who has a bit of armor you can pretty much sit hold down here you can um, beat everyone whoever is trying to make pressure like this and you can defend yourself over there especially when you have support from the tank destroyers who are sitting in the back or medium tanks or artists or other tank destroyers mediums or something over there now 
I want to talk about the most important uh, uh, position, probably the most important position, and you are going to see everything right here. So, as you can see, it might look very, very stupid skill. Why would you make pressure like this against so many guns? There is no, we have no problems whatsoever playing here. And the most important thing, obviously, we are playing with a heavy tank, so uh, this is very, very important thing to highlight, but it's not even about that. It is about... Uh, this position itself. Whenever enemies are trying to be just tiny touch more involved, all of our sniper schnitzels from up here, or from here, or even from here, they have an extremely nice angle. So if enemies are trying to make pressure for you, they are going to get slaughtered. And if enemies are not making pressure and you have a nice armor, for example, pro prototype or IS-7 or 277 or the same E-100, you name it. You can play extremely well here and you will uh, get shit on of assisting damage and shit on of damage dealt if you are going obviously to shoot enemies yourself. But for that by any means you need to have some, um, some support from the back. So let's talk about this game once again. What is the best offense in this map? Fellas, as wrong as it sounds, the best offense is defense. Because if you are making pressure like this and enemies have 2-3 artas, the clickers from over there, they can rain on you for three days, three nights. So it is simply not worth for you to make pressure. Sometimes it's so much better to um, stay defensively here and wait until enemies will try to go in. Whenever enemies will go in, you are going to farm them, you will get the damage done and you are going to get assisting damage done. Or once again, alternative option if you really want to be aggressive, crossing like this can be a good option, but obviously don't cross with a mouse, uh, cross with, with something who has better speed, for example, two 60 or whatever else um, heavy tank who's going 40-50 kilometers per hour plus uh, because otherwise it is going to be risky thing unless you are playing uh, unless you are playing against lower tier so for example you are playing with IS-3 and then you have an option do you want to do you want to cross like this or alternatively you want to um, you want to go and defend this side, you know, it depends on you. And now very important thing, you might think, but, 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 skill, what if enemies are taking ice road? What's from that? Usually you are having some sniper schnitzels who are sitting in the back and keep this in mind. Every single time you can go for a base defense and you can defend the base, right? Without the bigger problems whatsoever. And we are going to demonstrate everything very, very easily. How we are going to destroy Sue? I apologize for this cut, but I managed to mute my microphone while talking, so don't mind me if I do. Anyways, so once again, what is very, very important thing to think and obviously to do? Whenever, if you are not defending this side, you can have a couple of options how to defend the base. Option number one, to take upper side here. Option number two is to knock those trees down towards the enemies, right? So towards the cap and use double bushes in order to spot it. enemies. Or alternatively, to simply destroy people whenever they are going in. Or even better idea, to take this position right here right there and not allow them to get close to you uh, and it can work extremely extremely well so let's cap everything out fellas uh what we have said um about this map right so Upper side, aka I side, is not really worth attention that much. I don't really think it is extremely good play. I don't really think it is amazing. Obviously, whenever you are playing with a heavy tank, it's fun whenever you are playing here and enemies making pressure like this. But why would you go down here and to get into crossfire yourself? I don't know. And for me, it is just simply not working that great. Right? So, in my humble opinion, Ice Road is kind of useless from the both sides. But if you want to play there it's up to you uh, bridge is definitely favorite for the north spawn if you are crossing like this you are a big pain in the ass if someone is crossing like this yeah he can be annoying but he cannot make pressure because if you are sitting somewhere here you are going to eliminate him uh, either way because you can play hold down here um 
you can get easy shots in the start of the battle from somewhere around this area if you have a spotter if you don't have spotter and you are playing medium tank you can yourself take this position easily and once again pushing like this at least in the start of the game it doesn't really make that much sense it is not that worth it right so with the tanks like leopard you are being conservative you are waiting until enemies are making mistakes and shooting from somewhere here and then you are checking which flank is the weakest and then you can obviously make pressure together um, with your team if enemies are having a safe defense parameter somewhere over there fellas i'm speaking about the enemy base here uh, then you need to be very very smart how to approach this because if enemy team is very smart it is hard to do something because if they have a sniper schnitzel here and they have couple of guns here you kind of can't push unless you have a big hit points advantage so if you are seeing enemies have a safe defense parameter in the end be very very cautious fellas because there is no easy way to approach them you can even flank them like this and like this and still you can lose this map is very good for humongous comebacks so keep this in mind boys and girls ladies and gentlemen and this is very very important thing to say luckily for our team at this point t30 wasn't playing on top of the hill so we are feeling pretty gucci and i think we played well i think we um, did absolutely everything properly and we finished it with like close to seven thousand damage dealt and that's very very good highlight uh, of the things so fellas please let me know in the comment section down below do you enjoy this kind of videos um, and once again it is a test run we are checking how the things are looking like and what is going to be your feedback i care about this so please let me know in the comment section down below we are going to read the most of the reviews and once again remember to leave one of those it helps channel out a lot um, and it is uh, pretty much stroking the YouTube algorithm in the good way, if you know what I mean. Um, and soon we are going to talk about the different base pawn aka this base pawn over there and you will see uh, in a way a weaknesses of this uh, spawn as well anyways our type 59 all he needs to do he needs to destroy both of the artists he found one art over there he uh, received a hit from the other art uh, from the back and uh, in the end of the day uh, he is going to eliminate that clicker without bigger problems whatsoever art is shooting him and he is pretty much ramming himself to death unlucky for artists but let's get real they had no chance to win against the uh, type 59 if you know what i mean okay let's teleport into the second round shall we and we are back from the other spawn fellas and let's quickly mention the same thing in my humble opinion playing in the ice road is not really worth it because you can have safe defense parameter here and here and people to push like this it is literally equal to the suicide it is just simply not worth it although if you are playing here obviously you might meet uh, less experienced players which you can farm from this area here from this hole down over there or from somewhere here but once again i don't really think it is very very worth it so let's start with the light tanks as a light tank what you can do in this map you can try to take the corner here although in my opinion it is losing spawn and uh, um, usually um, at least in the first moment of the game enemies can have a huge advantage just because they are spotting from here and your team can lose a lot of a lot of hit points just uh, because of this so keep this in mind um, also once again as a light tank you can try to take this position on the corner and try to spot enemies crossing like this but once again you don't have bush and enemy team has bush so it doesn't really make any sense although there is alternative option you can try to knock this tree down or this tree down and in a way you are going to have bushes yourself but pay attention how much hp our team is losing just because of enemy spotters they are doing such a great job it is absolutely insanity um still can you cross like this with a um, fast tank like leopard yeah sure you can cross like this but it is going to be in a way risky and it depends how many sniper schnitzels enemies are having the thing is if you are checking the distance from here 
here to here and from here to here you can easily see the distance is twice longer so that means enemies are going to take this position pretty much before you will um, be able to cross and this is why it is not worth to cross from the very first moment as a heavy tank it's so much better to chill somewhere over there and try to punish enemies who are trying to cross and maybe even go for a blind shots so Enemies, as you can see, fellas, this is one bush where enemy can be, second bush where enemy can be, and this is a third bush where enemy can be. So you can definitely get a lot of a lot of use in this way just by blind firing, right? After that, you can obviously try to um, try to cross, fellas, and you can obviously try to um, make pressure, peer, 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 like this, if you know what I mean. By the way, I think my turret is stuck. Don't don't keep. Uh, uh, don't pay too much attention everything is fine and life is beautiful although it is a bit stuck right but it works okay and uh, it is fine anyway so how the things are looking like now from this position over there we can stop for a second and as you can see we can actually punish enemies without bigger problems whatsoever uh, we can actually um, if enemies are designed to make a pressure like this you can have a nice crossfire while sitting here while sitting here and while sitting here so enemies are going to have absolutely uh, horrible time to make pressure like this truly and now please Pay attention what is happening on the ice road. Once again, it's not worth it to play here. And if you are pushing like this, you are getting farmed by the people who are playing up. So making pressure is just simply not worth it. Right? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but at least that's what how I think. Um, also, one more thing definitely worth to highlight here. Whenever enemies are taking... Um, Whenever enemies are making pressure from here, this side, uh, Aka South side, has advantage, right? Uh, all you need to do, you need to open your eyes and you need to enjoy yourself, if you know what I mean. This is what is happening and that's how we are doing the things. Now let's focus on this battle gameplay. This is a big mistake what I am doing, but it is kind of paying off. We are fighting against the Type 59, we are fighting against the Hellcat, we are down to 400 HP, but we have zero Fs given because we are going to show the dominance against the enemy forces unfortunately i missed the shot into the enemy uh Vaka, which sucks but it is how it is i'm trying to move as much as i physically and possibly can and, luck and luckily that guy managed to throw the shot for us and this is great so now we are going to take our time to find a decent angle to eliminate this type 59 of the game and luckily we did so plus uh, enemies still have three guns left and you know what this is going to be interesting thing i am loading the high explosive for um, for Wafflecock and Wafflecock is trying to show the dominance against us but we are moving as much as we physically and possibly can and luckily Wafflecock is not penetrating us and look at this beauty fellas enemies are playing in humongous I repeat humongous crossfire here so that's why um, from the north spawn is not it is not really worth to make as much pressure here because you are in disadvantage and from the south spawn it is not worth to make pressure like like this because then you are getting disadvantage and you are bleeding you are losing a lot of hp uh, so most important positions from the south spawn in my opinion uh, to have someone near the bridge it is important to have someone who are sitting over there it is important to have someone who are sitting here and trying to um, make a crossfire here and to punish people who are crossing via the bridge it is very important and now if our team would have more guns who are defending the base the situation would be so much better i repeat situation would be so much better here and once again the most important thing why it would be better because um imagine that one gentleman is sitting on top of the hill another gentleman is sitting here and now our tank destroyers they are making pressure towards their enemies in a way and this is not very good thing also our team is getting flanked by the gentleman's here so what i need to do i need to stop here for a second and i need to wait until t and hash will try to make pressure for us uh, this is only one strategy what we can do and as you can see our heavy tanks they are stuck here they are fighting against 
the bloody ghosts because they are trying to, uh, they are obviously beating our team and they are bleeding uh, hit points. They are down to one shotable and they have absolutely uh, nothing to do there, if you know what I mean. And this is good advice for every single person out there. Don't make pressure like this, it's not worth it. Just turn around and try to play here or try to defend the base and life is going to be so much better, believe me. And there is one thing what I am doing bad in this battle and I need to highlight this. I decided to check out the bridge instead of instantly turning um, and going for a base defense because at this point I could easily take this position up here or alternatively a sniper schnitzel bush here. Well, actually it is a forest but that forest can be easy destructible. Just ram the trees, make sure to direct the, um, the trees to this door direction or this direction and you will have an absolute um, amazing amazing thickest bush line to play in. So keep this in mind. And in this kind of situation, unfortunately, uh, myself, I made a mistake. I'm not afraid to say so. Instead of uh, checking this position out there, all I needed to do, I needed to go for a base defense and I would have a way, way, way better and more dominance position out there. So how are you defending from the south spawn? You are trying to obviously split your forces a bit. Some of the people who can play hold down, they are playing hold down and some people who cannot play hold down, they are trying and having great camo, they are trying to play here. If it is going to be the case, then you will have crossfire across, across this map. If enemies will make pressure like this, they will get uh, destroyed by the bushes here. If enemies are going to make pressure um, from the other side, they will start taking damage from the person who are uh, who is playing here and for a person who is playing hold down right there. That's about it, fellas. Um, and this is as much as I can share about the Mountain Pass map. I was trying to... Um, talk a lot. I was trying to share my information. What do I know and how to play this map itself? So please leave your comment down below. Do you enjoy this kind of uh, um, talks and everything or not so much or the standard like a typical daily dose uh, of skill is better and for example instead of doing this I could simply comment on my gameplay uh, with a T28 prototype and simply say uh, what I was doing and why I was doing this and uh, um, simply ignore the fact, ignore the uh, positioning in the map or, and simply talk about my app actions and about my thinking. This is very important. Anyways, let's report into the game score and let's see what we have. And we are back, fellas. Once again, quick highlight. If you want to see epic game with a T28 prototype, check out link in the description. We had absolutely amazing game and I don't really think I would ever be able to have the same uh, situation with T28 once again. So check it out, fellas. And for the games we had in the Mountain Pass, first battle, uh, Aka winning Spavna, 6.8 thousand damage, 400 assisting damage, 5 kills, 1.7 base experience and we made 41 thousand profits. Unfortunately, second battle, definitely not a victory, but oh well, I messed up myself. I could have a better game uh, there in the end and my crossing was kind of silly goose, but still 5.2 thousand damage, um, 5 kills uh, and we are top by the damage by the huge margin and we are top by experience also by a huge margin. Uh, once again, this is your day those of skill fellas i'm curious to read your comments and uh, uh, let me know in the comment section down below do you like this type of videos or not anyways thank you very much for watching have a good one enjoy yourself and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace